How long have you been aware of the Organic Farm Management Handbook and, and how has it helped you? I've been aware of it for probably since I arrived in the UK. It would have been about 2007 or 8. So, John, you're, and you're working as, a, as an advisor, but you've been a farmer, an organic farmer, a biodynamic farmer mm -hmm. for, for many years. Mm -hmm. um, what's, how, how, how have you used the handbook and, and how has it been effective in, in your day-to-day -day man, management and work? I think it's always been there as a, as a resource to sort of stretch out to and, and grab, you know, when you're trying to uh, prepare a budget as a farmer, um, trying to start a new enterprise. Well, um, you're not sort of sure what the initial sort of uh, framework might look like, the economic framework for an enterprise, so it's useful in that regard. Um, as an advisor, it uh, gives one a benchmarking sort of framework so that if you analyse an enterprise on a farm, you, you, you're able to at least give some sort of steer to a farmer about whether how they're performing is, um, uh, you know, good, bad, mm -hmm. indifferent, yeah. where, where uh, improvement options might be. Yes. Mm. Well, I mean, part of how we try to lay the handbook out is we do these gross margins and then we provide a sort of a sensitivity analysis, um, which hopefully allows a farmer to sort of identify what would be a rele relevant performance for them. Mm. Um, do, do you find that sensitivity, is that something that's useful or is it something that's just, just too complicated? Um, it, is, it, it is useful because it, it, you can quite quickly see uh, what an enterprise uh, responds to uh, most dramatically. So, you know, you can see whether price, volume, mm. uh, whatever, so that's useful. Um, also useful are actually all the physical assumptions um, you know, things like uh, with, with pigs, number of um, uh, litters per year for a sow on average across organic farms or um, what to expect in terms of mortality. Um, as all important sort of performance measures, apart from the financial ones, mm. that allow one to decide whether wh where there might be problems in a particular enterprise. Yeah. Yeah. So apart from using it from that sort of um, physical and financial performance for, for budgeting and benchmarking. I mean, we, we also try and cover all of the, uh, the, the, the fixed costs and particularly what grants that are available. Um, is, um, is it, would, would, that, would that be a sort of a first point of call for you in terms of uh, identifying what grants are available in different, um, different parts of the country? is useful that the book focuses on grants that might be of particular interest to uh, organic farmers. Yeah, because we're particularly interested in the, the latest um, sustainable farm incentive schemes and the way that can be stacked with the organic grants that are available at the mm -hmm. moment. So mm -hmm. uh, hopefully we'll be able to point people in the direction yes. of being able to make best use of what there is out there now. Um, yeah. I think one of the challenges with the whole um, grant and subsidy environment at the moment is that it's changing so rapidly yeah. and we don't even know exactly what's going to be available in, in January next year. Indeed. This and, is, so, yeah. and so trying to put that in a book that's got to last for 12 months that's, that's uh, is, a, I would imagine, a real challenge. And, uh, after having just completed this one, the thought of doing another one in 12 months' time doesn't appeal, but I dare say we might be persuaded, uh, because that's really what, what one needs for a, for yes. a costings handbook. And indeed, I mean, uh, through the last three years, not only the legislative environment or regulatory environment has been changing, but the economic environment has been changing. I think some publishers in the conventional sort of texts have taken to releasing data you know, twice a year. Yes. Because, <laughs> because you, you can't make assumptions once for Indeed. the whole year. Indeed. I mean, you can, some of the analysts we've been doing comparing organic farm businesses with conventional ones, um, they've changed by, you know, the relative performance has changed by 100% from one year to another. Exactly, exactly. And, and so it's, it's, it's very dangerous, actually, to make, us, to, to make assumptions on the basis of a single year's performance. That's and, right. Uh, I mean, that's why I, did f I find the physical assumptions so reliable. They are, because, they are of course. Because, yeah. you know... The year in, the year out, they don't vary. They don't usually. vary that much. And um, but actually, some of the prices also do, uh, don't vary that much. It's quite interesting, some of the costs and things, you know, as long as one sort of takes um, account of uh, 
inflation and so on, you can arrive at pretty mm. similar figures. Yeah. It's really challenging, I think, in organic farming to uh, get a handle on performance at a whole farm level because many organic farms are mixed farms. And so I think trying to analyze fixed cost structures and so on um, on organic farms is particularly challenging to compare farms because uh, they can be so very different indeed. So, yeah. Yes, it's the variability amongst organic farms That's and right. their very sort of site specific nature makes it quite difficult to come up with, right. with averages yeah. and standard data of course. Yeah. I think that's one of the real challenges for organic farming is that there is there isn't it's not really a perfect market in the sense in an economic sense because there isn't really much transparency around information and data because it's simply so difficult to collect and make available to everyone. Yeah. Well hope, hopefully uh, the, the, the this 12th edition of the handbook will um En enable um, farms to be a bit more effective in running successful, successful and financially well, viable I'm businesses, which is, which of course is the, you know, is the rationale for the handbook. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But I'm very grateful that you've continued with it and that you've published it again, and I very much hope that we'll have one next year. Good. Well, we hope we can sell you a copy. <laughs>